Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halach. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday, 30th day of March. Here we go. Today, we're going to try and take the mystery out of the term 18-minute matzah. Um, people see that in the store, and some of the boxes say 18-minute matzah, and some of the boxes don't say 18-minute matzah, and you're probably wondering, oh my gosh, I didn't buy the 18-minute kind. Am I... Is my matzah not kosher? So let's go back to the beginning and explain what this really means, okay? Here it is demystified. All matzah, whenever it's produced, is really kind of sort of 18-minute matzah, and I'll explain what I mean. You see, from the second that the water and the flour start touching each other in the pre-kneading process, right away when they throw the water and flour into the kneading bowl together and they start kneading that dough, the clock starts. You have 18 minutes from that moment to make sure that the matzah gets uh, baked. And that's because if you leave them too long together, then what's going to happen is they are at risk of turning into chametz. So from the moment that the flour and water get mixed together till the moment that they are popped into the oven, less than 18 minutes should elapse there. Some uh, places are even stricter. This has nothing to do with today's law, but some are even stricter and put the baking time inside of that 18 minutes. So if the baking is going to take like one minute, then they want the matzah into the oven at 17 minutes or less so that the 18th minute, the baking actually happens in under all of it, happens within the 18 minute window. Other places say, no, you have 18 minutes till you get it into the oven. Once the hot uh, heat of the oven touches the matzah, all leavening will automatically stop. So you have some say 18 minutes to get it into the oven. Some say you have 18 minutes, including the one minute that it sits in the oven. Okay, so all matzahs strive to try to do this. How come some matzahs are called 18 minute matzahs and some aren't? Here's the deal. You see, at the moment that that 18 minutes stops, you now have to look at everything going on in your matzah baking factory and say, okay, look at that bowl over there. In the bowl, there could be some tiny bits of residue that have now spent 19 minutes, you know, since the flour and water touched each other. We got the matzah into the oven, so that's fine, but that stuff that's still left over in the bowl, that stuff's in trouble. So at 18 minutes, what any good matzah baking factory will do is clean the stuff so that anything that touched uh, water and flour for 18 minutes that didn't make it into that oven has to be rinsed and scrubbed. And that would be like things like the kneading bowls and the rolling pins and the uh, and the, the the surfaces where they you know rolled out the dough and everything. They'll clean it all down um, and won't start another run and won't start the 18 minute clock until everything is cleaned. Now here's where the 18 minute matzah will now split off and be different from regular matzah. In a, in a matzah factory that calls itself 18 minute matzahs, they will clean absolutely everything. Everything, everything, everything will get washed down and nothing happens until um, everything, everything, everything is cleaned and then they'll start over a new 18 minutes when they're ready to go. Some factories uh, allow themselves a leniency, and the leniency is that they say there are a few pieces of, equ of equipment that are constantly in use. So even if they go into 19, 20, 21, 22 minutes, those pieces are fine because no leavening can happen on those pieces because they are in constant use. So those don't need any scrubbing down. So any factory that's relying on that doesn't really call itself 18-minute matzah because they didn't clean down the entire place at 18 minutes. They just cleaned all like stationary items at 18 minutes. So in short, here's the deal. They're all kosher. All these matzahs are kosher. They will have a good kosher symbol on them. If they're, say, kosher for Pesach and the symbol is a good symbol, it's just that some are doing the added stringencies of at the 18-minute mark, they scrub down everything in the factory that has anything to do with the matzah. And in the other factories, they will not bother to clean off those things that are in continuous use and motion. So if they have a good kosher symbol on them, both of them are kosher. It's just the ones that are called 18 minutes scrub down absolutely everything at the end of 18 minutes. By the way, word to the wise, there can be such a thing as matzah in a store that's not kosher for Pesach. That's matzahs that weren't doing this all year long. So be very careful that when you're buying your matzah that it doesn't just say kosher, but it says kosher for Passover with a good, good symbol on it um, indicating that that's all proper. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.